and welcome to this quick video tutorial on how to install Pharos on your helmet. First and foremost, you need to pick up your helmet and, uh, and use a soft moist cloth to wipe the surface of the helmet to remove all traces of dust and grime. Now this is important because during the installation process, a clamp needs to be fitted on the helmet and for which the surface needs to be clean. Now that we have cleaned the helmet, it's time to unbox Pharos. Pharos comes in a box like this and inside this box you get the following items. The main unit about which we shall be covering in detail a bit later. You get two clamps in each box because if a rider has got two helmets he or she can install one clamp on each of the helmets and use Pharos interchangeably a Type-B micro USB charging cable and most importantly a user manual. We urge the rider to read this thoroughly because this manual lists out all the installation steps and also helps you understand how to maintain this product to give it a longer lifespan. The QR code of this YouTube video tutorial is also provided in the user manual. Now let's see what the main product Pharos actually does and its different functionalities. The product has got three display panels, the center panel, the right panel and the left panel. It has got two press button switches. One is on the back side of the center panel and the other one on the left handle. Now it's important to note that this is an on off button. As you can see, this is currently in an off state. When we press this button, a blue light tends to appear in the middle of this panel, in the center of this panel. Now this color of the light might either be blue or red depending on the different batches of production that we undertake, but inevitably there will be a light appearing here. This shows that the product is in an active state and it is ready to operate. Now once the product is on, you can use this operating button to move between the different modes. The first press of the button on a single beep takes you to the blue mode. Like this. Press with two beeps takes you to the hazard light blinking mode. Like this. And the third press takes you to the standby mode. Now please remember, while this looks seemingly off, the product is still not off and it is on standby mode and the battery is still draining. So if you need to conserve the battery, and need to use it for multiple runs after one charge, please switch it off from behind. And as you switch it off, this light disappears. Now, another interesting thing to note is that if you are charging the product, it will not charge if it is in an off state. Please remember, this product does not charge if it is in an off state. It has to be switched on, this light appears, and then you put the charging pin, a red charging light will appear here. Now let's imagine a scenario where your product is totally drained that even this light is not appearing. Then you need to just put the charging pin and press this button a couple of times and see in which instance this light appears. Now in that instance the product is charging and you can keep the product to charge for about two and a half to three hours. So I hope this is very clear. The charging will not happen if this product is in an off state and the indicator of charging is here with a red light. So this is how the product works. Now let's see how this product is mated to the helmet. You have to first install the clamp on the helmet. As you can already see a clamp is installed on this helmet already. Now typically the clamp needs to be installed about two and a half to three fingers up from the base of the helmet. In this case, it's about two fingers up from the base of the helmet and it is centrally justified. Once you have identified the spot, all you need to do is remove the red film from the clamp and stick it firmly and hold it for about 30 to 40 seconds. This establishes the first bond of the clamp with the helmet. Now once you have done this and it has settled in, please allow it to rest for about 10 to 12 hours for a firm bonding to happen. Now once the clamp is firmly bonded, it is time to fix the product 
on the helmet. The best posture is to hold the helmet like this and allow Paros to slide in like this. Please note there are two arrows given on the main unit and this needs to be pointing up and the guide rails need to be mated properly with the clamp because if it is not then there is a possibility the product can get dislodged while you are riding. So please be careful about it. Once you have mated it, it is as firmly attached as you see in this particular demonstration and you are good to go. The first press blue light, the second press red hazard blinking light and the third press standby mode. So I hope this video has been very helpful for you to understand how the product is used and installed on the helmet and I hope you get uh, a lot of great experiences and happy riding using this product during your long night rides. Thank you.